In this video, I will be sharing with you five things that YouTube has taught me about myself having a YouTube channel for one year. The number one gift that I have received from having this channel is the liberation from being perfect. I used to worry so much that the shade of my lipstick in one of my earlier videos looked funny. Nobody cared. People still watched it. And releasing that and having freedom to just hold the camera and just film, liberating. I used to obsess about getting a blowout. I used to be so worried about my nails. Now I just know to show my hands this direction. You just, you learn how to maneuver things. Surprise, it doesn't matter. I've done videos with absolutely no makeup on. I've done videos crying about the death of my brother. I've made videos straight from the gym. I still get hundreds of views, so it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter your hair, your makeup, your clothes. You don't have to wait for the perfect outfit. You don't have to get the blowout. And I'm sure you weren't concerned about any of those things when you started watching this video. Don't worry about being perfect to release that perfectionism now because surprise, YouTube is about being imperfect. The second thing I've learned about having a YouTube channel, this is your company. This is your success. Everything is on the line based on your availability, your energy, your enthusiasm, your abilities. Your success is based on you. There's no one else that you can blame, point fingers to. You have to set yourself a schedule. You have to show up, you have to film. There are weeks I film every day. I spend days editing videos that only get a few hundred views. The third thing that I've received from having a YouTube channel, doing this job and showing up isn't for the algorithm, in my opinion. Doing YouTube is for you. Doing YouTube is an artistic expression, in my opinion. You feel that you have something to add to the community, so you stand up on your soapbox and you provide the information, whether it be how to do a certain skill set, how to choose the right equipment, what to see in a specific city that you visit, purely entertainment. There's a plethora of topics, how to make Minecraft, I didn't even know what one of those was until I started a YouTube. There's just so many varieties of ways and things that you can film content about. The fourth thing that I've received from having a YouTube channel. So one of my biggest notes about this whole process is make videos and content that feed your soul. Prioritize creating a niche with content that you won't tire of creating. I'm sure you've seen videos of mine and other creators where explaining something and we light up. We're so excited to share and that's so much more enjoyable than watching a content where the YouTuber is like monotone and less excited. Like you can feel the energy shift. Which video are you going to want to watch? The one where someone is super energetic and excited and like can't wait to tell you or the video where they're just doing a video to get a video. And ladies and gentlemen, number five, the fifth thing that I have received from having a YouTube channel. For me, the reason I started this channel was to add value to the human society. When I struggled in my late 20s, I didn't have family members to help me through the transition. I felt very alone in trying to reprogram myself and make better choices for myself. And then again, when I lost my mother, I didn't really have anybody. And when I lost my brother tragically in front of me, I didn't really have anybody who could relate to that sort of experience. And I find that I'm constantly going to YouTube to find content to watch, to provide some sort of emotional support. And so that's what I wanted to give back in doing. YouTube was so supportive for me in so many different times and varieties of my life that I wish to set up a channel that if even one person for each video that I make feels inspired, connection, a switch in their mindset, a positive moment, feeling alive, feeling happy, feeling like content, feeling seen. That's what I'm striving for with my channel. With a little entertainment and silly blonde moments splashed in. <laughs> I have been wanting to travel the world and help people for over 20 years. I have been talking about starting a YouTube since 2018, it's 2024. It took me till 2023 to finally execute my YouTube. I kept using the excuse that I didn't have an editor and then I finally, after a year, found an editor and he edited for me four videos and then he quit the day before I was leaving for an international trip and I had a meltdown. 
I had a panic <laughs> attack. And you know what? I have edited every video since, and I think I'm doing pretty good. I'm learning each one. Another thing that I've taken away from having a YouTube channel is my cheerleaders. There are some really amazing people that watch my channel, that comment below, that really let me know that what I'm doing on this platform is, is helping them. I've said this time and time again, but I will repeat this in perpetuity. Thank you. Your comments do not get lost, mean so much to me. Your comments light up my heart. You inspire me to keep going. You motivate me to keep putting up more videos. Because listen, it's really challenging. It can be an emotional struggle to sit in front of a camera, film for an hour, upload the video, edit for two hours, create a thumbnail, figure out hashtags, upload, schedule, and get 50 views. That that really takes a lot. That that really can hurt that you know, but then I have videos that have 3000 views with so many amazing comments from viewers and subscribers that make all the videos with less views worth it because doing those smaller videos with less views helps me direct and get better at future videos. It's like exercising. You don't wake up today and run a marathon tomorrow. You wake up today and decide to walk 20 minutes. And then next week you might jog for a minute. And then you might the next week jog for five minutes. And in increments, you increase your stability, you increase your, increase your stamina, you get better. Just like muscle memory. Just focus on the muscle, think about it, practice, and it'll grow. In 2018, I ended an engagement and I sat on the couch the next day and wrote out this course, Break Into Positivity, I was calling it. It was going to be several modules, including videos, very similar to what I'm creating now. And you were gonna be able to buy the course and watch these videos and there was gonna be homework. I mean, I legit drew photos of what I wanted each portion of the video to look like. I was so specific with what I was wanting to get out five years ago. So do me a favor, don't wait five years. If you have an iPhone 14 Pro, you basically have a Canon. If you have a mic that you can buy from Amazon, you basically have amazing sound. Just press record. It's been life-changing for me. The freedom that I have from being perfect, YouTube has taught me that a 41 year commitment that I have attached myself to that I'm now free from. I kind of forget people are watching. I kind of forget that this is for the world to see. And I, I really, it's a quote that I've used before. It is none of my business what anyone thinks or says about me. Because you can be your, ab your version of perfect and there's still someone that's gonna come for you no matter how perfect you appear, no matter how hard you practice, even if you were 100% perfect, someone will still have issues. And it's none of your business that they feel that way. And I don't know if I feel that way because it's only a couple hundred people and I think I know all those couple hundred people as my friends, so <laughs> maybe that's why. Maybe that's why I forget because it's like, the people that I already interact with every day and they, they know a lot of my story. So I know I'm not saying anything on this channel that I wouldn't say to them over a cup of coffee. But sometimes I do think like, huh, who is this person from Europe watching my video? How did they find me? I think my content being so positive and intentional and in an ad value form is why I don't think anything about what I post because I really just want to be a cheerleader and I want everyone to live their best life. And I'm coming from such a beautiful place in my heart that I don't really worry about what I'm saying. Even if just one person watches each video and comments, wow, thank you, Lisa. My job here is done. My heart is full. Now, obviously I would love to be monetized. I would love for you all to share these videos with your friends. I would love for all of you to subscribe. I would love to build my community so that I can make income on this so that I, I can work on hiring a better, better editor and having better sound and learning all these things so I can let go of my other job and focus on this full time. 
and that's a slow and steady race with my channel. I made another video recently where I talked about how I probably could be monetized already, but I'm focusing on the end result and I'm focusing on nurturing and planting seeds to find people that are actually in alignment with me. I would love to be making some money. Like, let's get me there. I'm almost there. It's my one year anniversary. It would be such an amazing anniversary gift. Please and thank you. It would just be a wow moment trying to manifest that with the universe right now. You know, it is 11-11, which is my spiritual holiday. It's my favorite day of the year. But I do wanna end this by saying, money isn't the reason I started this channel. I really wanted to nurture a community of lost souls similar to myself that are former narcissistic snacks from abusive, neglectful, and emotionally unavailable parents because that can be a really lonely and isolating place and that can really lead you down some roads in your life where you make a lot, a lot, a lot of wrong choices. <laughs> so my goal is for you to find me and course correct and head in a different direction so that I can help you save time because sis, I've spent 20 years banging my head against a wall to finally figure out what it takes to make those changes. And I offer that information for free on my channel. I'm also a mindfulness coach. There's a link below if you'd like to sign up for coaching. What I've received emotionally, internally from my heart space, I don't even have to share with people the pure healing that this channel has provided for me. It's interesting when I meet strangers, sometimes they'll actually say to me, wow, that has to be really therapeutic. And it is. I get to reconnect to portions of my life and then I get to reframe how I've shifted from that old mindset and then I get to rewatch and edit myself and really refocus on have I completely have I completely cleared that is there anything remaining residual that I need to work on with therapy or breath work am I at a hundred percent or do I need to go back and relearn something I didn't start this channel thinking about the therapeutic aspect. This channel is for, for me. I was so insistent on having an editor when I started, but I think editing is now my favorite part because I get to create the story and it's almost like I'm witnessing myself from the outside. I'm observing myself. I understand when I'm blushing. I understand when I'm nervous. I understand when I'm feeling vulnerable and I'm able to pause the video and reflect back on that. And that's something you can't buy in the store. It actually feels like I'm teaching myself things all over again. And there are times I will re-listen to my own videos. Sometimes before posting, I will watch a video four or five times to really make sure that I'm clear in the message. And it's not narcissistic of me to say sometimes I look at my content and I go wow look at you look what you're doing look how you're helping because I can feel that I'm making a change again even if it's one person I would love to make it thousands of people but we're gonna get there slow and steady wins the race I may not be monetized I may not be making the big cheddar like Mr. Beast but I'm receiving something that has more value that you can't buy at the store freedom a more comfortableness with myself than I've ever felt, a curiosity to keep learning, and the vulnerability to show up and lead by example. And hopefully, one by one, make a big change in this world. Thanks so much for watching, my friend. I hope to see you back soon. Bye for now.